Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Kevin Owasuitori and welcome again to Teach Yourself Test Automation. Teach Yourself Test Automation. We're on day 61 today and it's all about uh, cucumber dependencies in Maven, right? Cucumber dependencies in Maven. Remember, we're teaching ourselves here um, uh, BDD, right? And BDD is all about cucumber, right? So. Um, we're trying to wrap things up with, um, as I said in the last video, we've done some Selenium uh, framework, right? So, Selenium framework with Selenium, Seren Serenity framework with Selenium, a uh, J unit, right? And now we're trying to bring that full circle, get some uh, um, cucumber in there and some uh, Serenity BDD cucumber uh, J unit and Selenium, right? So, that'll be the big package, <laughs> right? So. We want to learn uh, Cucumber on its own. We've done some um, an overview on Cucumber. Uh, we've set up, we've set up. Um, what was the last post? The last post we did was uh, yep, yeah, Cucumber set up in in uh, Eclipse, right? Using Maven. So we downloaded a, Ma a Maven project. So we downloaded the. Um, one of the plugins that we have to use, which is called a uh, natural, right? And that's also used for for Gherkin, right? For the Gherkin language. And um, so we've done cucumber dependencies in Maven. So this is actually the video that we're doing to go with the um, this blog, right? To go with this blog. Well, as this, as you could read from this blog, right? Uh, within within your Eclipse, we have our Maven project. Our Maven project now doesn't have any Cucumber jars, so you cannot run any cucumber autom automated tests, right? So we need some cucumber jars into uh, our Selenium project, I mean our Maven project, for it to be able to run our uh, automated uh, cucumber uh, test cases, right? And uh, <coughs> we know that, well, if with with Java, like if this was a Java project, you just go directly to the uh, build path, right? You go directly to the build path, and you can you can put your jars into your build path, right? But because this is a Maven project, your 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 jars have to be in your pom docs dot xml file, right? So your jars are not hard coded into your your uh, your, your build path, right? Um, but with with um, As I say, with 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 um, with Maven, you have to go to the pom dot xml file. So if we go into the pom dot xml file, you have to provide this jar, this um, the cucumber jars through dependencies, right? Through Maven dependencies, right? So we have to go to the Maven uh, the Maven repository, right? To get this uh, these dependencies, right? These um, cucumber uh, cucumber jars, you know, cucumber cucumber dependencies, and put them into our Maven. I mean, our uh, pom.xml file, right? So if we look at this one just now, right? We have this is a JUnit dependency, right? The JUnit dependency, right? So the dependency start the dependency tag starts. This is a parent, right? So that's a parent. That's a parent tag, right? This is a parent tag. From here to here, right? It's parent tag, but in between here you can put any other dependencies, right? So, in order to 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 rent, there's two way, there's two two uses for now for Maven, right? Is that the, we need Maven in order to do cucumber automated cases. We need Maven to provide the the the, the, the structure of the the project structure which we've done. So Maven has provided pro, pro, pro project structure. Now we need the jar, the, the, the Java jars. I mean, not Java, um, cucumber jar uh, jars in there to provide that that uh, um, so that we can use a Maven project with the Java with the cucumber Java um, to run our Java, um, cucumber automated cases, right? So <clears throat> hopefully this is making sense. But so we need two jars, two cucumber jars, right? So one is cucumber J unit, right? This one is J unit, so that's different from cucumber J unit. And we also you need cucumber um, cucumber Java, Java, right? Cucumber Java, right? So if we go to um, 
if we go into the so the only place you can get this these jars right so the and all the jars are found in the maven repository right all jars from all the software all the jars are found in maven repository right so if we go if we go back here and let's see we'll go we'll go to google and we we'll just type maven maven repository Right, so you see, I've already been trying to find it on this on this laptop, right? So yeah, we're going to here, and these are your these are your your uh, all the jars, right? Now, because I typed cucumber, because I entered cucumber jars, right? That's why it took me straight to all the cucumber jars, right? So all you have to do here is click on. So we need a uh, Java cucumber Java, and we need cucumber J unit, right? So if we click on here, this first one should be should be the most recent, right? So 6.10.1 is the most recent, right? And hopefully, hopefully it's stable, right? So all you do is you click here. Now you see when I told you about uh, child child dependencies. So in here we just copy this. This is what we need to go and put on our pom.xml file, right? Um, let's come back to here. So yeah, all we have to do is go inside the parent dependency tags, and in here, in here, we wanna put that, place that in there, right? It's a little bit askew, but we'll fix that, right? Fix that, right? That's you, right? And the next one we need is, <clears throat> so the one we brought here is cooking by Java, right? So the next one we need is Cucumber J unit. Uh, if, we, if we go back to the Maven project and click back, I mean Maven repository, click back. My computer is a bit slow, right? So let's go. <laughs> right, so we know this is the Cucumber J unit that one. So, uh, this is it. Click on it again. So this is the same one. So, right, so copy. And let's go back and paste in our dependency tags right here in between our parent dependency tags so now in this in this dot pump xml file the dependencies that we have are see the dependencies that we have are the j unit which is not java j units that's different i mean cooking j unit not java j unit cooking j unit Cucumber J unit and Java, I mean, Cucumber Java, right? So that's what we need. So I think the spacing in here should be. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if spacing, uh, I don't think there is anything to do with spacing. Spacing matters, but let's just do it like this so that we can tell how many dependencies we have in here, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. If we shift it like that, then we can see. I've invested in some lights, right? <laughs> so next thing to invest in is some uh, some uh, headphones and you know some so the sound is original, right? So let's get this up. Right, so that's looking good, right? So all we do now is have to save this. Like see in here, there are hardly any jars, right? Hardly any jars. But as soon as we save this, because we brought this uh, uh, Java uh, uh, dependencies, Cucumber, sorry, Cucumber Java de dependency and uh, Cucumber JUD dependency, it will download the jars straight from the Maven repository. One thing that you're doing this from the, doc, the, doc, uh, the pom.xml file is you don't want to hard code, right? You don't want to hard code. What you want, all you want to do is every time these um, dependencies change, once you come here, right, and update your pom.xml file, it would always download from the repository, the Maven repository, right, so that you are using the most current uh, uh, jar files, right. So, if we save, if we once we save here now, if you give it some time, you see all our jars will be in there, right. So, um, I'll take I'll take a, a screenshot of this just now, which I'm going to use on 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 my 
on my blog, right? So, oh, right, maybe, maybe we cannot take a screenshot then, <laughs> right? So close this one. Because I'm filming, I cannot take a screenshot. Ah, okay. Right, so let's just save, okay? We'll save and then we'll find out what happens, right? It should refresh and we should have some should take a bit while but it should populate the dependencies into that then we'll have to refresh it um, or wait wait much longer <coughs> Definitely saved. So maybe we should just wait a bit more longer or try and refresh. This is pretty slow. <laughs> ah, it's not responding. Right, let's just wait. We better just wait, right? Let's refresh. And go in here. Still nothing. Let's just wait then. Ah, it's still doing something, you see? Still doing it down there. Still doing it down there. I never noticed that. Still in progress. 6%, 12%, 19%, 25, 44. <laughs> right. You know the dream in this in this uh, on this channel is uh, please subscribe, right? So you can follow our follow our progress. But I am uh, in 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 the year of proper upskilling so that I could move. I mean, COVID kind of stopped things in, in, in its tracks, right? But now we have to ramp it up, right? Because things are things are changing and need to be upskilled, right? So need to be upskilled. And that's what we do around here. So definitely subscribe. So now if we go into this project, I mean, into this, we have this um, dependency uh, folder, probably should see all our jars in there right now. There you go, right? Those are all the jars. There's quite a few jars here, right? So our Maven dependency has been populated with all our Cucumber jars that we need, right? To run our uh, test automation, I mean, the our Cucumber test automation test cases, right? And that's it for this video. My name is Kevin Owasu Itoy. Remember, around here, we're trying to upskill, take ourselves to another different level within our nine to five, within whatever you want to use this for, right? You could. Um, go freelance. You could do whatever, right? And you come become a test, a te test automation specialist, or test automation engineer, test automation whatever, um, and maybe go into more technical, um, uh, into the technical area, front end, back end, full stack, full stack test engineer, right? And you could become a freelance or do whatever. This is just we are trying to upskill to take our earnings to another different level, so that we could, you know, start other projects or, or whatever, right? And support your family better. So my name is Kevin Owasu Itoe. Remember to subscribe, follow the, follow the journey, uh, and learn some automation while you're here, okay? Thank you very much. Stay blessed. Bye.